Hello everybody, welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel, I'm of course the Excessive Player and today we are up to episode number 12 of our survival roleplay series here on Farming Simulator 19. Before we get started, if of course you could drop us a quick like on today's video, it would be very much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today, episode number 12, what are we doing? Well, it is day 3 of mid-spring, we managed to clear off all the bowels off the field from uh, uh, yesterday's episode, we literally collected everything. We sold two trailer loads of bells, so we've got £11,420 in the uh, bank account, and we've of course got literally a shed load of bells. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go and have a look at what's going on on the farm. Uh, today's sort of a uh, tidy up and uh, catch up day of what's going on the farm we've uh, obviously been uh, checking all the machinery out we've put the bucket onto the uh, John Deere 332 because we are going to use that today but uh, yeah that's all good uh, you will of course notice that the lights are on because we was working quite late into last night getting all these bowels stacked up into this shed and yeah, it has took us <laughs> most of the evening. As I said, we had the uh, front loader, uh, front loader arm, and the uh, uh, the wrapped bell grab. We had uh, both of those till the end of the day, and we certainly made the most of it. To be honest, they're not the best stacking in the world. To be honest. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got absolutely loads of bowels here. So we was getting, what, £4,000 thereabouts for 22 bowels. And as you can see, let's jump up on here. Oh, there we go. We have absolutely loads of them. These are three high up here. Can't even walk up there like this. <laughs> so high up, we've got the bar there that's uh, stopping us. But uh, yeah, there's absolutely loads of bowels here. So, yeah, we've got three deep there, we're five deep here. Yeah, that is uh, a good number of bowels, to be honest. But as you can see, they're not the best stacking in the world, but we didn't do too bad considering. There is the occasional bit of snow that's still around. But, uh, yeah. As you can see, everything is course growing. The bushes are all uh, bushed up, etc. They are all growing nicely now. Uh, the wall, we got. Let's get this door open. There we go. We put some of the wall away. We have been using bags of uh, pellets for the feed, of course. But uh, as I say, today, episode number 12 is all about tidying up. But as you can see, the grass is growing at a ridiculous rate. Uh, but uh, I think they could do with some water actually. Get that topped up there. There we go, that's that job done. But yeah, all the grass needs cutting again. The time it's took us to get those bales off the field, I'm over here, look, the uh, grass is already grown. Can't believe how quickly it is growing, to be honest, but. Uh, that means we are of course going to need to get it cut again and uh, yeah. get the uh, I think what we'll be able to do is get a load of hay bales made jump on over there and uh, yeah get all this cut we'll be able to uh, get some hay bales made and then we can get those pellets uh, the hay pellets made so we can of course feed the sheep throughout the winter and of course return those four pallets of pellets that we collected from uh, the guys down in Linton so as I said today is a bit of a sort of tidy up day and a bit of a catch up day on the farm as I said we was working quite late into uh, last night to get all of those bells in so what we are going to do is just have a bit of a an easy day to be honest. As I say, it's quite tiring last night. So we're going to jump on to the uh, John Deere, the 332. Okay, so yeah, that's that 
get that started up, press the right buttons, get it all started up. As I say, we've got the uh, bucket on there at the moment. Don't think we need the uh, weight on it. But what we're going to do is uh, just have a bit of a uh, tidy update. As you can see, the sheet needs some tidying up. Get that gate open. And, uh, they've made a bit of a mess with the grass get that uh, lower down there and scoop some of this up it's not a huge amount uh, 0.05 tonnes of grass as I said it's not a huge amount or if it'll go back in the trough or if it's just going to go everywhere and no, then it's going to go everywhere so we'll clean up again there we go it did actually take some of that but uh, bring this back out and that is that job done so they've had their water they've had feed we already done this morning and we've just tidied up the feed again. The uh, wall pallets were uh, of course put away and uh, that one's just filling up now so that's all good. So yeah, so it's looking a bit tidier. So, so job done. So what we are going to do there. What I want to do is just test if this mower can fit in here. Can. What we are able to do then is slap stack the different products that we uh, get and harvest into these pens. Quite a good idea I think. Obviously that grass is just going to rot away in there so it's not a problem at the moment. But uh, Storing grass anyway, but if we produce hay pellets, etc., we just stack them in there rather than uh, pelleting them uh, and then palleting all the uh, valves up, of course. So, yeah, get that closed up, that's done. So, what we're going to do next is uh, I think let's get some grass cut, test out this mower properly. Yard garden needs uh, a lawn cut as well and remember this uh, of course uh, just cuts doesn't actually uh, produce grass if that makes sense there's no discharge it mulches it all down so we can get that started up a bit noisy Let's do is get the 
grass cut in the first cut of the year for the fields. And then you can of course produce the uh, hay bales once it's all dried out. Of course you need to check the weather forecast for a uh, bright day, a sunny day. going data to be honest. As I say, after stacking all them bales up it's uh, absolutely knackered. But uh, yeah, the sheep are progressing nicely, they're producing wool ready for this year. As I say, they all seem happy enough. And uh, yeah, as I say, the farm is coming together nicely now. But what we of course need to do Let's say he's get the all grass fields cut once again. It appears that they've all grown. The grass must grow very quickly around here. But uh, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, we we'll get the grass cut, get the uh, bowels made again, and uh, we can produce some hay pellets. So of course we've got feed for the sheep in the winter. And then, uh, yeah, everything could be rosy, of course. But uh, then we, of course, once we've cut the grass, I think we need to actually decide on some crops to plant. Obviously, the price of crops vary. And so we've got plenty of fields. I think we've got about what, seven fields in total where we could cut the grass. Uh, get a plough and dig it all over. I'm thinking this field here, which is obviously the one that backs onto the house, walk along the wall. Uh, I think we're going to leave this as grass for definite. But uh, you've got fields. If we leave this as grass. That'll give us ample uh, bowels for the year. I think to feed the sheep. Big enough field. But if we come down to this field, jump on over, we can, oh, a long time since we've been jumping like that, but uh, yeah we've got this field, obviously we're going to cut the uh, grass first, there's no point just digging it over, but if we dig all of this one over once we've cut the grass, uh, we could put in here uh, a crop of some sort, not quite sure what we're going to put in there, but uh, so let us know in the comments section what crops you think we should plant. Do you think we should 
do cereal crops? Do you think we should do root crops? Again, okay, that's nice. See if we can jump this one ready. There we go. Uh, we've got another field, grass field here, which again, I think if we dig, dig this one over, we can get this put in here, get a crop in here. Uh, jump on over here. Now this field, jump on over there. it's not a huge field, but it does, of course, back onto the bow cell point. Now I'm thinking if we perhaps put the uh, uh, the very nice looking alpha alpha in here, depending, of course, where you're from, what you would call it. Some people call it alpha alpha. Some people call it lucen. But if we dig this field over, we could use this as the uh, as an alpha alpha field. Get that produced. And then of course bow that up and get it sold straight into there of course. I think that would be quite appropriate for us. Of course it is a very nice looking crop, the alpha alpha. We are going to have to, uh, as I say, get all the grass cut again. There's no point in just digging it over. It will, uh, you know what I mean, you might as well make the most of that crop. Grass is in there. Uh, we've got this field here. Again, it's not a huge field, but it is a good size field. So I think if we dig this one over and do that as a uh, cereal crop, perhaps. So we've got one, two, three, four fields to dig over once we've cut them. And uh, of course, get it all uh, bowled up, etc dig it all over and get crops put into there. I think that will be uh, a very good thing to do. Just jump over here. Oh. And yeah, this field, again, it's quite a large field. Again, get the grass cut and we could dig it all over for a crop. Again, good sized field, it might be worth putting another cereal crop in here. I think cereal crops will probably be, be the best thing to do. But, uh, let us know what you think, what crops should we plant, what things should we do. And of course the field at the back of the sheep or the front of the farm. Whichever you would like to uh, look at of course. I think what we're going to do at some point is take this hedge out cut all this out and dig it all out like that what we could do is uh, give us access to the farm there perhaps we could get I don't know maybe a silo system put in for the grains make it's nice and profitable and uh, of course got access to the field there perhaps if you Half this off. Maybe this hedge is here. If we actually halve the field off, that would create a separate field there. This would create a field area here. And so you put a silo system in perhaps. Maybe some stables. Different sort of uh, things to do. But as I say, let us know in the comment section down below. Let me jump this again. There we go. Let us know in the comment section. What, uh, first of all, rate the stacking. <laughs> what do you think to our stacking? Do you think it was uh, quite good? Uh, let us know in the comment section what crops you think we should plant. Let us know. Uh, do you think the f uh, which fields we should um, dig over? Do you think we should uh, halve this field off and create separate fields? Do you think we should get a silo system? Do you think we should do some, uh, maybe some horses, or we could uh, consider cows? I'm not sure that cows would be very beneficial to us at the moment. I don't think we've got enough of the uh, resources in. 
obviously we've only got £11,000 left at the moment so we need a good money maker as I said we've got all of those barrels in the shed down there but I want to try and save those for a little while but of course at the end of the week we have the mortgage to pay the loan that we used to purchase the farm but uh, yeah let's say for today I think that is going to be it it was just very much a trying to relax episode as uh, we did have a very late night with those valves but for the time being that is going to be it hopefully you have enjoyed today's video let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below and then uh, yeah we shall go from there so as I say if you've enjoyed today's video drop us a like on the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are of course new and of course you could share today's video with family and friends or anybody else you think may enjoy it would also be very much appreciated we are of course going to go on in and uh, have some breakfast and we will of course see you in the next episode so thanks for watching and bye for now